Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you another quick uh, Spartan cricket bat review, and today we're going to be looking at the Sachin bats. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, Sachin number one. So if you just take a quick look, grains wise, pretty decent to be honest with you. Um, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. A little bit of heartwood, maybe a little bit of butterfly staining as well, um, but fairly even and straight grains. Um, but the most impressive thing about these bats is the actual specs on these bats. Um, you're looking at a 41 millimeter edge and a 66 millimeter spine. Um, it's absolutely monstrous. You're looking at probably a mid to low middle as you'd expect with a satchin shaped bat. Uh, this one is the lower of the two satchin bats that we've got. So if you're looking for a low middle bat, then I would highly recommend this one. Um, if you look at the shape, it's a convex shape. There's no wood taken out at all. Uh, nice thick toe, factory fit toe guard. All these stickers are textured and embossed. And to be honest with you, the colour scheme I do really like. And I think these white Spartan chevron grips, it's a Spartan embossed chevron grip. I think they're really nice and they go really well with the stickers and uh, they really do suit the bats really well. So you've got, if you have a look there, you can see the tapering of the handle towards the round and you've got an oval, I would say it's a medium thickness on the oval there and then tapers towards the round at the top. So a really nice uh, feeling handle, feels really good in the hands. Uh, this one instantly is weighing 210.3. Um, so I'll just show you the bow in the back first. So you've got a gentle little bow, like I said on other videos, nothing too extreme. Nice and gentle, just goes down towards the toe there. And we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. So 210.3 and it probably feels around about 29, 29 and a half. Pick up quite well and that's helped with the handle. Uh, but considering how low the middle is and how full the bat is and where the weight's distributed down towards the toe, um, it picks up really well and it feels really nicely balanced. So it's impressive in that regard. Uh, so we'll go on to the ball test with the Reader's Sovereign Cricket Ball. So yeah, the performance is excellent as you would expect with a bat this big, but the springiness in the willow is excellent, really responsive, rebound is really nice. Um, down low, really good down low as you'd expect with such a low middle. Yeah, it just pings everywhere, uh, by the stickers. Try not to hit the ceiling. But yeah, it just rebounds everywhere, guys. Uh, really good quality cricket bats and really good value for money. $139.99, including free UK mainland delivery. And you also get a free uh, Spartan bat cover as well. So exceptional value for money and a really good quality cricket bat. Um, so that's cricket bat number one. Uh, moving on to cricket bat number two. Uh, grains wise, this one's not got as many grains, maybe not as good looking. Um, you're looking on this one around six grains. If we just count them up, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six grains. Um, edge wise, this one is slightly bigger 41, 42 millimeters. Spine height, a little bit bigger at 67 millimeters. Middle position, a touch higher, I would say, on this one. Uh, so, not as low as the last one. So, if you prefer a slightly higher middle, but you're wanting that same big full shape, then this one's probably going to be a better option for you. Nice and full again, no wood taken out. Fetch fit toe guard. Same quality stickers again. Handle shape, this one is not as oval. I would say this is more of a semi oval and a slightly, slightly thinner handle. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the tapering is not as extreme on this one. This one's a little bit thinner towards the bottom, whereas the other one was a little bit thicker and more of an oval shape. Um, so yeah, this one is weighing pretty much the same again at 210.3, and we'll just see how it picks up. This one probably feels very similar, uh, picks up around about the same. Uh, that's probably helped with a slightly higher middle, uh, but it has got a slightly thinner handle, so that probably counteracts that. Uh, but they do feel pretty similar in terms of pickup, uh, which is, is not unusual as they are the same weight, but obviously the shape is slightly different and the center of gravity is slightly lower on the other one, uh, but they still pick up around about the same. Um, we'll just go on to the performance of the bat. Wow, 
that's right at the toe. Up towards the middle. And that's right up at the sticker. I would say this one maybe feels a little bit more responsive, but they're very similar in performance. They both perform really well, uh, but this one is just as good. Um, so yeah, shape-wise, size-wise, weight-wise, quality-wise, um, excellent value for money, guys. 139.99, and you're gonna get this type of size and performance. Um, you'd struggle to get that from any other manufacturer, I would say. Uh, there's not many uh, manufacturers out there producing uh, bats of this quality uh, for this kind of price. Um, so I've been very impressed with these low grade bats from Spartan and if you'd like us to get some of the top end bats in from Spartan then uh, please feel free to let us know, drop us a comment or drop us an email and then we can look to do that for you as well. Uh, so thank you for watching guys, until next time I'll speak to you all soon, bye bye.